Well, three local breast cancer survivors uh, decided to document their journey in a book called Hope Amongst Us. Yes, to tell us more about their upcoming book signing event, we've got the authors Rhonda and Jennifer. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, we also want to give a shout out to our very own Tina Makua, who is a 12 year breast cancer survivor. So this speaks to so many people. Everybody is touched some way, somehow by cancer survivors. Yes, yeah, so this weekend is National Cancer Survivors Day, and we wanted to honor cancer survivors across the country. There's actually 17 million cancer survivors right now. In, wow. in America. And it is, it is such a journey. Yeah. And you guys go into some great detail, I understand, uh, talking about, you know, the honesty behind what happens to your body and what it's like going through this, right? <clears throat> Correct. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, we pretty much document our experiences during our treatments. And uh, we also document some of our survivorship and also interview our family members and our mothers who are all also uh, breast cancer survivors as well. So talk to us about uh, Hope Among Us, the, the book, assi book signing event that's taking place at uh, Rescate Coffee. Yeah, so it's gonna be tomorrow from nine to 12, and we're gonna have um, books available for signing. We have some literature because it is a National Cancer Survivors Day, and um, there's information about American Cancer Society. We have resource um, websites, and of course we can just chat and talk about cancer and how it impacts people's lives. Uh, Jennifer, I want to ask you specifically because you're a two-time cancer survivor and, and again that's Correct. what this is about is, is the hope right in this whole situation not just for the patient but for the family members as well and friends. Correct. Correct. Um, <clears throat> I was first diagnosed in 2012 and then I had a recurrence in 2019 and um, I'm also actually the American Cancer Society's first survivor spotlight and um, that's our whole point in writing the book is trying to share our experiences and shedding light on not only how it affects us the patient but families uh, because cancer is something that affects the whole family and it takes everybody it affects everyone differently and so we hope to uh, give hope to everyone who is impacted by cancer. Can you take me back to when the book arrived mm. and you got to open it up and see it for the first time? That had to be amazingly <laughs> mo emotional. Yeah, I can answer that. Definitely, um, I've thought about writing for a while. I'm a school psychologist and, and before I got cancer, I thought maybe I'll write a book related to children or parenting, but once I had cancer, I definitely wanted to share my story and um, seeing that book for the first time, I mean, it actually turns out better than we expected. We're all first time authors. We've never written a book before. And I think what's unique about the book is we do interview our kids. There's eight mm. children between the three of us. And so we get the child's perspective on how their parent went through cancer treatment. And to have their interview documented as they get older to see what they wrote about when they were young, I think is, is invaluable. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Madi Guzman, one of the uh, co-authors of the book as well. Rhonda, Jennifer, thank you so much for your time this morning. So again, the uh, book signing is tomorrow at Rescate uh, from 9 a.m. until noon. Is that right? Correct. Yes. Can I add one thing? Sure. We do have a website if you want more information. It's hopeamongusbook.com. Hopeamongusbook.com. Excellent. And we'll link all that to our website. Also Thank you. On Amazon. Thank you so much for Thank writing you. this. Thank and you for it, having you're us. really going to help a lot of people. Absolutely. You really are going to help a lot of people. I, it, it is so important to hear these stories when you're going through something like that to know that, hey, this is, this is what's happening yeah. and this is how we're going to get through and there's this. There's hope among us. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect title. Thank you, ladies. Yes.